Hey everybody, eHomie420 here today, and I'm going to be bringing y'all a video on this new 1.0 Xbox that I recently picked up off of eBay for $34, and I just installed an X-Blast X -Blast Pro mod chip in it. Uh, the X-Blast has two BIOS banks on it, one 512K BIOS bank and one 256K BIOS bank, um, and it also supports uh, TSOP recovery, it supports onboard TSOP splitting, uh, and it also has this little board here, a switchboard, which controls the, hold on one second, controls how the Xbox boots up. So here, you can see, this switch right here controls the BIOS bank, you can switch it this way to boot up the 256K BIOS bank, you can flip it this way to switch to the onboard BIOS or X-Blast, you can flip it this way to switch to the 512K BIOS bank. And this, uh, this little switch right here controls the LEDs. So you can flip it that way to turn it off, and you can flip it that way to turn the LEDs on. So it's pretty amazing, honestly. This thing, the chip itself was $35, and like I said, the Xbox was $34. So altogether, I spent almost 70 bucks on this console right here. Uh, the hard drive I just had laying around, so I was just able to uh, upgrade it with Chimp. And then I T-stopped the Xbox also. So... I'm going to be showing you guys what it looks like when I boot the system up here in a minute. The system was listed on eBay as untested uh, for parts, maybe not working, but it was fully working. It was actually soft modded with a very old soft mod and a very old version of Xbox Media Center. So I went in and I had upgraded the soft mod using Rocky 5's soft modding tool, or his extra disc, excuse me, and I t sopped the Xbox after I did that then I cleared off the C partition and I made it to where the system is no longer soft modded it's running the hard modded dash so after I did that I upgraded the hard drive used chimp to upgrade the hard drive and yeah here we are so it's got a fu fully functional disk drive which is actually amazing it's a Thompson 2000 and uh, 2001 model and here if we flip the Xbox over, you can see that it has the sticker here, but while trying to remove the GameStop refurbished sticker, I accidentally rubbed off part of the manufacturing date, serial number, and the product ID. However, I have pictures which show all of those, and I have that written down already, so as soon as I get some tape, I'm going to put that down, put tape over the little thing right there, and write the serial number and everything back. So going to put this thing back together and I will show you guys what the system looks like when I boot it up. Alright, so here I am inside with my stack of Xboxes and this is the one that has the X-Blast Pro in it with the little switchboard right here. So, go over to my TV. This is the onboard TSOP that it's booting. Xbox Media Center. And I, uh, I went ahead and I took the hard drive out of the other 1.0 that I had right here. It's got the switch. Uh, I took the one terabyte hard drive out of here and I went ahead and put it in this one instead. So, I had to boot up X-Blast. And here we go, we've got X Blaster there. Can boot the banks. This is just booting off of it's booted off of the T SOP so it's not showing everything. Here if we go ahead and boot off of the five twelve K bank or the other one, we should be able to see everything once we boot X Blast. On the X-Blast 512K bank, I have uh, IND BIOS, as you can see there, just loaded up. So if we go into the apps, boot up X-Blast. Mm -hmm. 
and there we can see up here it says the mod chip now since so it's X Blast Lite, but it's actually that X Blast Pro. But um so yeah, there's that, but uh here we can actually see it's got all the names that I've preset there, so go ahead and turn this off and it's in the middle right now the switch is in the middle so it's booting the t-stop when I press the power button it's quick booting to the t-stop or it's uh, booting to the x-blast when I press the eject button there we go x-blast so but yeah it's x-blast pro mod chip but it says x-blast Lite. x-blast pro is not official so I guess that's why it says x-blast Lite there um, but here we can go in and boot up the M8 Plus. This is the 256K BIOS. And I have the A19 wire on, like soldered onto the X Blast, so I can enable T SOP splitting. I just don't have T SOP splitting enabled because I don't really have a use for it on this Xbox, as I already have it enabled on the X Blast Lite Xbox, which is installed in the 1.1. So let's go ahead and go back into the Xbox. And there we go. So if we go into the settings, you can see here that I've got the control the TSOP split. Yeah, so you can split the TSOP there, but I don't. Like I said, I don't really have a use for it on this system. Running four BIOSes, I don't really need that. Three is enough. Um, so, I've got the quick boot enabled. So, go into the system settings. I got the LED on green, fan speed 50%. Uh, there's the tools, flash menu, HDD menu. Let's go ahead and read the smart status. Drive is fine. Info, temperature, Xbox is running pretty well, 116 on CPU, 104 on the board temperature. Let's go to the flash device, see it says there, it's the, there it shows the uh, X-Blast Pro flash, so there's that. And I'm going to go ahead and power it off, and that's pretty much it. That's the Xbox that I got with the X-Blast Pro installed. You see here if we right now it's in the middle so if we switch it over to the right it will boot up with the green LED and it boots up the uh, 256k BIOS and we can also like, I'm gonna wait till it's finished booting up to show you this but you can also uh, like when you switch it the LED on the motherboard will change colors let's check it out so takes a second to boot up there we go so back over here on the little switch switch it over to the middle it's got a orange LED that's for the onboard TSOP booting and uh, this is to the left side or no this is the right side actually the left side is the Evo X and the right side is the IND BIOS which is red LED so you can switch them there and you can also this other switch just controls the LED light itself you can turn them on or off so yeah that's pretty much it hope you guys enjoyed this video this overview of the X Blast Pro mod chip and this new Xbox that I got